So, with Star Wars now under Disney, and now that Disney is not only announced they're going to be doing a new trilogy, obviously with Force Awakens, and they're going to be doing a Star Wars anthology series of basically these one-shot movies to, by, done by different directors, um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little video talking about what I'd like to see in this little anthology. I mean, they've said that this is go this uh, these little Mar uh, these little Star Wars one shots could be set anywhere in the universe. Now, with unlike with Transformers, where you could kind of see an extended universe, or with Ghostbusters, which has absolutely no, uh, you can't exactly do a universe. Star Wars gets a little more leeway, just like Marvel, because there's so many ideas and a universe so big that you could literally do anything. I mean, hell, Gareth's Edward, uh, Gareth Edwards' uh, movie uh, called Rogue One is going to be a story... It's going to be like... Uh, how do I explain this? It's going... Apparently, the idea of Star... Of his movie, Rogue One, which is apparently like a l loose version of, of, of Star Wars Rogue Squadron, the idea behind it is that it's kind of like Ocean's Eleven in space. Does that not sound like an awesome idea? And the whole it, the, the whole story is the this group of ragtag uh, re rebels getting a hold of the Death Star plan. So it's obviously set before you know a New Hope. So so many ideas to talk about with in this new universe that I think there's you know just boundless places Disney can go in this in these so many different directions they can go in this universe. So I think they're you know, so many ways, you know, they can go from this, uh, from these styles, like, uh, first and foremost, obviously, yeah, Boba Fett movie would be cool, I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk about the obvious ones, because obviously I think a Boba Fett movie is, is bound to happen somewhere, I think a Boba Fett movie is bound to happen one way or another, at least a one-shot movie, I don't think it, uh, I think we'd be reaching too high for a trilogy, but I think a, a solo film is... Uh, a one-shot film is probably going to be what we're getting, and I don't doubt that's going to be a future, because actually, Disney announced that Boba Fett is still in the continuity. He, uh, he did not, just like in the extended universe in Dark Horse, he did not die in the Sarlacc pit. I think they realized, oh yeah, this background character has a lot of fan base to it. We can make money off of this, and we don't want to piss off the fans. He lived, guys. Don't worry. So yeah, according to uh, Disney, yeah, Boba Fett is still alive after his events from the Sarlacc Pit, which we originally thought, oh, he got Boba Fetted and died. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Uh, so yeah, Boba Fett movie, that's inevitable. I would like to see a movie, actually, if he is going to be in a film, how about with him and the Bounty Hunters Guild? You know, have uh, Bosk and... Uh, what's the name of that goddamn assassin droid? IG something, I, I think. You know, have Dengar. So many different um, members of this bounty hunter guild in here. Even have Aura Singh in here in that story. Or hell, a, a live action Asaz Ventress. She started doing bounty hunter work. You could even have Hondo. Yeah. But anyway, among other things I think it would be cool to see in this new continuity would be, you know, how about a Darth Maul movie? I think, yeah, you could probably get Ray Park back. Uh, have someone... I mean, obviously, he didn't do the voice. It was someone else, I believe. So, have Ray Park back, and you could actually... You know it would be really cool? If they did an adaptation of this recent novel that came out, and actually was really good, I suggest, if you're really into, like, Darth Maul extended stuff, and this is in canon now with this new universe. So there's a good possibility of this author named Joe Schrie uh, Schreiber, or Schreiber, uh, pick your... Uh, can't really, you know, you know, pick your poison on that uh, dis enunciation, and I'm totally tripping over this sentence, sorry. But yeah, the story is of Darth Maul before, epi I think about six years before episode one, and the story is that Maul is, has gone to this prison planet to find, and he's, he's, it's, think Mad Max in space, that's the best way I could, I could say it, it's Mad Max in, sp like, beyond Thunderdome. That's the best way I could look at it, in, in, in the, <laughs> in a way. So, yeah, but yeah, the story is that Ma Darth Maul has been locked up in a, a uh, max security prison planet, and now he fights day in, day out against all these different inmates without his lightsaber and just using the Force, and it's a really badass kind of story. So, I think that would, if they're going to do a Darth Maul movie, do an adaptation of that novel, because you would need, I think it would be cool to see a little more 
violent story in the Star Wars universe. And speaking of violent, let's talk about another story done by the same author that I think would be a cool adaptation, and I think could be a really cool, mo at least a one-shot movie, to see done in this uh, continuity, at least on the big screen. Uh, for those who have not read Star Wars Death Troopers, the best way I can explain it is that it's it's a zombie apocalypse in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Literally, that's what it is. Actually, even better. It's liter it's the closest you'll ever get to Star Wars and Resident Evil crossing over. That's what it is. Resident Evil in space. <laughs> the story is, and I think this could really work in as a movie, because obviously, one, you've got the, zomb you know, the zombie popularity ever-growing thanks to Walking Dead, so... I th and keep in mind, this book did not come out when Walking Dead first premiered. I think Walking Dead premiered a year after? I mean, yeah, a year after this came out. Because this came out in 2009, I believe. And Walking Dead came out 2010. I th think I have that right. Yeah, I think I have that right. Um, don't quote me on that, because I could be wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's. that's neither here nor there. But yeah, with that being said, I think it would be cool to see... Uh, this kind of story of the this imperial barge, this imperial prison barge, which is shipping uh, these group of rebels and pirates and drug dealers off, and but they're running low on power, so they they find a just just a empty they what looks like an abandoned uh, star destroyer that's just drifting throughout space. So they hail it, nothing happens, and a group goes on board. They don't come back, and then. They eventually find out, oh god, this uh, Star Destroyer was infected by the... I think it was a parasite or virus. Either way, yeah, it's basically creating zombie st stormtroopers. And it's awesome. <laughs> it is a totally awesome book, and I think it would make one hell of a movie, because like I said, there's a good chance it could happen, because obviously with the popularity of zombies, and it looks like Disney wants to try different things. I mean, Rogue One sounds like it's going to be a very badass kind of story without any Jedi in it, and I think it would be some possibility to see this kind of story happen if you want to go more of a horror route, because uh, Star Wars is trying some new, very ballsy things in their universe, so very interested to see if they'll, you know, try this, and I think it, it would make a very well-done story. Among other things I would like to see in this Star Wars universe is, um, you see, here's the thing, when you want to, do, like, see a Leia movie or a Han Solo movie, the difficult thing is, you know, die -hard, really die-hard fans are going to get pissed off because, you know, they would obviously like to see Carrie Fisher, and and it would be a point in time where they'd be younger. And you could say, oh, we could recast somebody to play younger Han or younger Leia, the problem is, or younger Luke, the problem is, is that it's really hard to, these are such iconic roles that it would be really frickin' difficult to really, uh, to really play with that kind of idea. And it's, it'd be really hard for, you know, a fan to see, like, a recast version when they, when it, it would also be really weird seeing that still there. Although, Days of Future Past made it work with, uh, the two Xaviers. So, I would have to say it's a possibility, but you really gotta sell those really diehard Star Wars fans. That's all I'm saying on that matter. So, I'd like to, so maybe do a story, a, a story of Han and, of Han and Chewbacca. Not how they met, but maybe how they, you know, maybe just one of their crazy runs and what got the, you know, the story of how, ja you know, they ripped off Jabba, and Jabba got completely pissed off. And hence, you know, why he's being hunted by Jabba the Hutt. Uh, <clears throat> so, hmm. I, I, lo I lost what the other idea was. I, I literally lost the other idea I had. Oh, yeah. The other idea, if you want to go with a younger Leia story, but this one would be a little harder, because obviously Carrie Fisher uh, was, uh, you know, obviously at the same time period playing that character, so it'd be weird to have Carrie Fi to have uh, kind of a recast in the same continuity she was in of kind of like what Mark Wade's doing in the Star Wars comics at Marvel, where she's trying to find other people who survived the destruction of Alderaan, and it kind of led her into this big conspiracy. I think that would be a cool story, but again, it would be kind of, it would just be kind of off-putting to recast Leia when that continuity still exists, and we have Carrie Fisher already around. Yeah, just recast somebody from that con... I, I don't know. It, again, that's just really slippery slope. So... Yeah. Anyway, uh, you guys tell me, what kind of Star Wars films do you want to see done? I would even like to see, hell, how about an Old Republic movie? 
I don't think we'll get that, but I think it would be cool. I think it's it would be nice if we got like something set in the old Republic because the old Republic era, you can do anything there. You can almost do almost. Let me rephrase. Almost do anything there. I think Disney would have a major playground if they did something with old Republic. Now that I think about it, like the. Or hell, how about do a story with a one-shot movie about Darth Bane and the creation of the Rule of Two? That would work. That's a perfect movie right there. You can do an all-dark and villain movie uh, focusing on how the creation of the you know the Rule of Two and the near and the uh, how do you explain the the Sith Empire? You can have Maul get Darth Malgus in there. You can have Revan, uh, Kreia, so many different characters from that era. I think I just rhymed right there. Now that I think about it. But yeah, once again, you guys tell me, what do you guys think, uh, what kind of movies do you want to see, like, anthology movies, just one-and-done one, one and done movies set in the Star Wars universe? Really curious to know what you guys think of this one, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.